So all you need for this painting today are your primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. And you can add sap green and burnt umber and okay, black and white. Have now, a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush and a long one and a short one. You need a couple of different brushes just in case some don't work out for you. So it's nice to have a few extra brushes around. And that's about it for the brushes. When we come up with something else, I'll guide you along. Dark hay sky painting um, with shining stars. First thing I like to do is, uh, it's good to start at one section at a time. So let's just take the sky first and we'll go a little over halfway with our tape. So just tape off your canvas and your canvas is in portrait um, because we're going to do some really nice things going on here and I'm making up as I go along so bear with me. So I'm trying to get a few requests in at the same time. So let's get our tape on over halfway and we'll just deal with the sky right now. So the sky is going to be dark. So in order to get dark sky, you're going to need some dark paint. So I'm just using uh, black and blue. You can use any kind of, it could be Mars black or um, ultramarine blue. And I'm just using a Bristol brush around size 12. And uh, so what, we, what I want to do first is I'm going to throw on, I'm going to load my brush, both sides, and I'm going to put on my blue paint. And now I'm going to put on some black, so just to darken it up. So there we go. Now that will mix in with the blue and give you a nice dark sky. See that? Nice. And you still see your blue. See, you still see your blue. You can do your sides also. I like these canvases. This is a stretch canvas. Um, it's great because you don't have to frame it to put it on the wall. So just put in some more dark over your blue right over your blue and your blue will come through in spots and and you have a really nice dark sky there we go pretty so now you got the blue coming through as you can see all right now make sure you can see that Really dark sky and um, we're going to try and put in some stars now. So I um, use this little trick of a toothpick and the way you can do it is take your toothpick and dip it into your white paint. Okay, just some white paint. Just dip, 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 dip. There we go. And you take the top of your toothpick and you put on your stars. <laughs> of the canvas and we're going to have a, a dark match bottom our top so the same procedure so you're going to put on your blue paint decide where we want our water so this is going to be our water same thing you put on your blue paint okay I'm just using the paint Oh, 
here and make it really bright so we'll get the ref this is a reflection from a moon that we're going to put in later okay and with your fan brush just pull over just tap 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 I if you pull on it it'll probably get to uh, see you can do that too but if you prefer this method this technique just touch very lightly tap it tap it you, you can extend it you make it up whatever way you want if you want a skinny one but as you come down then try to keep it more centered but as you're going you can add these little flicks of light all over your painting okay so I'm losing my my hand is doing whatever it wants there now because I'm sitting in an awkward position so but you do this technique get some more blue and bring your brush nice and flat together with the paint and then do it again so just keep going over here until you get these reflections look see some different types of uh, shapes so I'm going to take this uh, circle here put it over my ocean and I'm going to hold it on hopefully that will work and I'm gonna make take some chalk and I'm gonna make a circle with my template now I never practiced this so I don't know it's gonna work but anyway use your template to get a nice round circle so I'll use that we'll manage so as long as you get a nice round circle then that will be your moon so just take a small flat brush and fill your moon in and you take chalk because I found chalk you can wipe it off so take your moon and fill it in with white okay just use that to go by to make a nice round moon you could also leave your template on there and, and uh, paint in there make it nice and round but I'm just going to take a chance on this and I'm like I say sitting in an awkward position so I won't be able to get my lines exactly the way I'd like to have them but here we go there we go that's good perfect I know it's not perfect I know you're laughing but anyway so you clean off your brush really good clean it off really 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 good and just make a nice little halo around it just so that it looks like there's hmm, maybe there's a glow coming off your moon okay so just make a little glow coming off your moon you don't have very much paint on your brush be better if you waited for your moon to dry because as you can see I'm I'm taking some of the paint from the moon and I don't want that really okay so we'll just go around your moon get a bit of a glow wipe off your brush again if you got to we don't want very much paint on that brush and you're going to scrub 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 and you'll get a nice halo around your moon okay scrub 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 there we go and you can go as big as you want as long as there's not very much paint on your brush you'll be fine okay so you can make it nice and round there we go now you got a bit of a halo around your moon you let the moon dry I won't go near that anymore so then you can keep coming out as much as you want because that will look like the halo is going off into a distance okay there we go going off into a distance and it's just going around your moon nice bright night wouldn't it be nice to stand on your balcony and look at your sky and see a beautiful bright moon and all the halos around it so I'm just going to clean it up after but right now we got it started okay we got to start it started. that's the main thing now what we're going to do is we are going to take our fan brush again and we are going to get this a little more shimmery here okay so we'll just add some more white this time just add only white to your fan brush just a little bit I didn't add very much and just go back over what you already did just tap a little bit tap 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 just here and there you already have your underpainting done you already have so you just tap over that now just to make painting done you're going to take your pattern I'll send that to you and um, I'll have it in the description and I put chalk on the back because 
it's very difficult to use black carbon paper. Now you can get white carbon paper, you could try that. So it has to be something that will stand out. So I'm just going to lay her on here and then I'm going to tape it down. All we have to do then is get a pen and trace it out and hope that the chalk will work. That's a nice glow in the moon. So we'll start painting. up a little bit of uh, flesh tone all right so I'm gonna go with um, starting off with white starting off with white a bit of yellow tiny bit of red a little bit of burnt sienna maybe a little more I'm always find the highlights after So now we're getting all the shapes. Things are starting to come to life. brush because it's nice and tiny. Add a little bit of white to your burnt sienna because remember we put a we put more burnt sienna in our mix. Let's lighten it up again with some more white. So you're always mixing into that mix that we made and because she has a bit of white on her face for the light. Let's get a little shape. You barely see it, but that's okay. It's a really nice glow from the moon, isn't it? Okay, so we got that part in there. And what we'll do now is we'll put on some here, just like I said, so we can get all the shapes together. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna by itself on my dirty brush it's okay I think that will do and a little bit of a um, hmm, little bit of blue darken it up I want a really 
dark underpainting for her hair. There we go. So that's a really dark underpainting for her hair. But I need to be a little lighter than what we're working with because you won't be able to see it. it has to be a little lighter than the uh, Has to be a little lighter than the background there. Coming down over her face a little bit. So if you got a medium value, put some dark back in around the edges there. That'll make her head look round too. See how it's popping out a little bit more better there now? You can have any kind of hair you want, whatever color you want. Good. I'm going to put another coat of flesh tone on her arms. Just put that in. Be better for your um, first layer to dry because if you don't, it'll just keep pulling up uh, what's underneath. nice already. I think I'm going to paint the railing a dark blue because the underpainting is black so if you paint it black you won't see it. So I think I'm going to just go into my dark ultramarine blue. See if I can get that to stand out a little bit. Yep, that separates it. We have to change it, we will, but right now we need to see what we're doing. If you can see that. Good. If you like the blue, you can leave it. See how it goes as we go along. Just follow the lines that you traced out. Good, we'll let that dry. Now I think the moon in the other, when we first started was a bit smaller and I kind of made it bigger. So you can do whatever you want with the, the moon. You can make it bigger or smaller, it's up to you. I'm, Smaller moon probably would look really nice too, but I just wanted to make that moon stand out. So you can make a bigger moon or you can just leave it as we did in the beginning. It'd be nice if the layers are dry. So we're doing different layers. So when you do different layers, it's good for each layer to be dry. So I'm picking up some more paint, red. Red paint, it can be a bright red or it could be cad red. I'm going to use my chiseled edge.
So she has a little bun in her hair, so I'm going to take a small flat brush, very small round or flat brush. I just have this small round one here, but you can use flat. I'm going to take yellow and um, I'm just going to make these little circles, just so it looks like she got a little. Like a frontward C and a backwards, like you're making um, a rose. Guess so, just like that. We don't need to do too much. I'm going to leave that like that. So we'll complicate things. And then I'm going to take my long, thin liner brush and I'm going to pick up some yellow. I'm just going to add a few little highlights right here. So, just simple. The little highlights make a difference. A little more white to her. A little bone here. Just so it'll stand out a bit. You don't even have to put that in there if you want. You can have long hair, short hair, whatever you want. A little clip in her hair, bow. Whatever you want. Put in some white. Make a couple of layering, a little layering hanging down here. I'm just going to put that there. I'm not going to make anything too complicated because you'll be at that. That's a very pretty painting. Girl on the balcony, or a beautiful night moon, or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna come up with a name and I'll put it on my my description, my title. So pretty, isn't it? I really love it. I love it. I like to be standing on that balcony looking at that beautiful moon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I really hope you try it. It's very easy and uh, try uh, the glazing method which is also um, not something I do a lot but uh, I'd like for you to give it a try and see if you like it. So you guys go ahead and give this a try and I will see you in the next video. Signing out from Alison Pryor. Bye!